Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, back with another quick video. Uh, today I'm just giving my first impressions of the Medford Slim Midi. Um, I recently picked this up on the secondary market uh, based on a recommendation from one of my, my friends and um, I've had a little bit of time to carry it and just wanted to uh, provide a little bit of feedback based on my experiences. All right, the particular Slim Midi that we're going to be looking at today, um, it has an S35 VN blade. Um, it's definitely a user. I actually ended up picking it up on one of the Facebook groups that I follow. To be completely honest, I knew nothing about Medford except that they made, you know, huge kind of ostentatious, overly built knives. And, um, you know, it was brought to my attention that they had some smaller EDC offerings, which, you know, obviously kind of piqued my interest. I was actually really, really surprised when this knife arrived at the box. Um, so it actually comes with a like a mini pelican case um, with it. it. Had the the patches in it, all that stuff. Um, all told, I paid about three hundred and fifty dollars for this knife. Which uh, again, just to kind of get into it, test it out, see what it was like, and you know maybe hold on to it, maybe pass it on to the next person. Um, I, you know, I just wanted to get some reps in with this knife because um, it's a company that I've heard a lot about. But you know, first impression of the case I mean definitely you know kind of over the top normally I'm used to getting cardboard cases with the, the knives that I buy so, uh, so so this was actually pretty cool uh, one of the things that I've kind of come to learn about Medford is that people love to customize these things and um, with that I mean literally on the dog tag that it comes with it says warrantied forever if new or used original condition and I know that's kind of a, a point of contention with Medford's is a lot of people will you know flame the other side of the titanium um, etc there's other things you can do to these things i'm not going to touch this thing um you know i like to experience a knife based on what the original design and maker you know wanted it to be like but you know there certainly is a market out there and then just realizing that should you buy a medford and you kind of get into that you know honda civic tuning phase in your life um you know that that will actually void the warranty and i know medford definitely pushes back on that all right, next I wanted to get into uh, some of my observations while carrying this knife. And uh, again, I had no preconceived notions about this knife, didn't really know anything about them, except, you know, I was going to give it a fair shake. Um, with that, um, you know, what I kind of found out, um, or what my impression is of this knife is, you can tell that this is put out by a big knife company, right? I mean, you can almost like, every time I see this thing, I'm like, I can just kind of feel the the engineers and the designers being like, wait, we got to make this thing how small? Um, this knife wants to be bigger than it is. And um, I mean, that, that blade barely fits into the handle, but I have to say, guys, I mean, like, I really do enjoy this. It, it, it is all titanium. The one side's flamed, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, you know, the, the knife blade itself actually does stick out quite a bit, but I've actually kind of grown to, to really like it almost. I didn't think I would. I really thought this would be another one of those that I buy, carry for a little bit, and then just pass it on to the, the next person. But... I don't know. I kind of think I'll, I'll hold on to it for a little bit. Um, I really do like the pocket clip. It's not a deep carry, but it's very unobtrusive. Um, doesn't really give you any hot spots when you're handling it. Again, I have really huge hands and, um, you know, no issue there. Um, the one thing I will say is I think the focus on this knife was the blade itself. I mean, this thing is it, it really is beautiful. I mean, it, it's kind of, <laughs> you really got to see it in person to appreciate it. But um, other than that, like I kind of, I do wish that they worked on the ergonomics a little bit better. Um, as you look at the handle, there's this, you know, recess part, which has, you know, it, it has nothing to do with uh, the lock bar or anything like that. I don't know if it's for an alternate grip, but I just think that, you know, this was relieved here i don't i don't yeah i don't know if it's for weight or whatever but you know this pattern here is is a little bit unique and i didn't really understand it um i will say though this knife is overbuilt when you look at the the back spacers here they put two two pins through here i mean two like very good size pins you got the lanyard hole on the the one side again that's that's nice to see if you want to throw some 550 cord through that um you know, they did put a lot of thought into making this knife and it is just, it's a beast. It is an EDC folder that just wants to be a behemoth. The other thing I noticed right off the bat was just the very low profile of, you know, this knife, you know, as you're carrying it. Um, 
it, it hits super thin. The only other knife that I have here to compare it to, um, I have a, you know, sharp by design mini Tempest. And I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Th this midi is very, very thin. And, and I don't know. I honestly have really grown to love it. It's obviously a wide knife, but again, you have to <laughs> keep in mind how big this blade is. I mean, th there's a lot to offer there. Um, so, you know, I think as, as far as carryability goes and, you know, where it fits into your EDC arsenal, um, this is definitely one to look at. Um, one of the things, and I was going to kind of close on it, but I'll, you know, cover it now. Um, I would just I'd definitely look on the secondary market if you're interested in this knife. I don't think that it's for everyone, but once you get into that, you know, 500 plus, um, you know, MSRP price for something, you, you really want to try it first, um, unless it's again, from the big three that I, that I was talking about, you know, you got your Striders, Hinders, um, and your Chris Reeves. Um, this one's a little bit tricky, but again, I ended up getting it well under MSRP. Um, it was a user with which no drama I actually like that in a knife so that I myself can use it. But, um, you know, I, I think if you can get this thing on the secondary market, it, it's definitely worth the price of admission. All right, a few other um, kind of observations that I made from carrying this. Um, you know, obviously it has this single, you know, rather wide fuller here at the top. Um, you know, there's no chamfering of this right so it's still kind of sharp but it you know i think of medford and i think of you know very industrial knives um you know the fit and finish on um on this isn't great but again it, it's not a showstopper it's not sharp but you know may have been nice to uh, chamfer that a little bit um the other thing that i was looking at and you know why i brought the uh the sharp by design tempest out um for this lock bar, um, it actually is kind of sharp, right? And I think that it adds to the, um, you know, slim nature and the profile of this thing. But I do find myself, like, I mean, compared to other nice knives that I own, um, you know, this is actually, I don't know if you can hear that, like, it's pretty, pretty sharp. And, um, you know, say what you will about <laughs> Sharp by Design, Brian Dow, but, um, you know, the the level of detail in there to be able to actually, you know, engage this, uh, this frame lock is, is really nice to see. And, and I guess I kind of, I'm going to do a review of this knife at a later date, but it's kind of what I've grown, uh, accustomed to, especially for this price. And, um, that's definitely one of the, the major feedback items that I have is, you know, I, I like to, you know, close my liner locks with one finger and, um, it, it is, it's a, it's a little bit sharp as you can see, just from, just from doing it a couple times. Again, not a showstopper, nothing that would preclude me from recommending this knife to someone who's interested. But again, just trying to get the word out there, you know, honest to God review of this knife. And I think that's pretty much it for my observation so far from carrying this knife. Um, to be honest with you all, I am impressed with how much I like this thing. Um, you know, I think it will kind of stay in my stable of, um, of carry knives for, for quite some time. Um, you know, certainly there are some drawbacks. I think the ergonomics could be a little bit better, but I mean, you can tell, like, I mean, I'd rather have a, a blade look like this and, you know, then the handle be perfectly ergonomic, etc. I mean, you can tell this is a big, big knife company that, you know, decided to take a stab at the EDC market. And, and I do think they knocked it out of the park. Um, for the most part, I do think that, you know, paying three seventy five, four hundred dollars for one of these, as far as a user goes, that that's I think that that's a fair price. I would be a little bit hesitant to you know drop five hundred plus on this um, right out the gate, um, especially since it does have an, an unlimited you know lifetime warranty as long as it's in its original condition. Um, so. I'm definitely going to be carrying this thing for a while and, um, you know, if anybody else uh, carries Medfords, whatever, I'm, I'm definitely interested to, to know. Um, I know in the past, like in my first video, I was saying, oh, hey, like, you know, in my experience, um, companies that focus on fixed blades are not really good at making folders. But in this case, we got, you know, we have a company that is really good at making very big kind of, I don't know, they're kind of like steampunk folders. And, um, you know, them taking a stab at the EDC market, I, I really do think that they, they did a great job. And I'm really excited to see what they come out with next. So um, appreciate everyone tuning in. Again, if you have any questions, please feel to feel free to hit me up. Um, you know, I'm just kind of slowly going through my knife collection as it is it's growing 
unfortunately for my wife, pretty much on a daily basis. But I do like to carry my knives. I like to, you know, provide feedback. Um, so please, if you have anything to say, uh, drop it in the comments below. And uh, hope you all have a good weekend. Take care.